I could do something from Gilbert and Sullivan for you, but <laughs> I don't think you'd recognize it. So how many people have my last great album, Dave Sings Live in 95? Anybody? <laughs> yeah. It's funny, no one in Tacoma had it either. Um, this song I'm going to sing to you is called, it's a Shakespearean ditty called Ode to My Carpool Dummy. And it was inspired, it was inspired by an actual news story. It was ripped from the headlines. Uh, one day, somebody was caught and ticketed for trying to drive in the 520 carpool lanes with only two breathing people and uh, one mannequin. So uh, that inspired this song. You, you can find it on uh, an album soon to be released <laughs> called Traffic Violations in the Key of D. <laughs> it, it's, it's destined uh, to go bronze. All right, um, here we go. And I'm, I'm going to do this uh, a cappella. And uh, I just want to say, thank you, Billy Joel. Billy Joel. All right. <clears throat> there were two in our carpool. We needed a third. So I could legally drive in the lane I prefer. <laughs> then I saw her on sale down at Archie McPhee's. The cops say she's fake, but she looks like a woman to me. <laughs> Whoa, she won't talk you to death, never comes with bad breath. Yeah, she's one of a kind. I took her home, made her warm, reattached her left arm, and was at work on time. She don't care if I smoke or stay late at the bar. Yeah, she's always on time cause she sleeps in the car. <laughs> I can take her to Spokane, she don't have to pee. <laughs> and the cops may complain that she's in the wrong lane, but she looks like a woman to me. <laughs> Rachel Bell! Yay. Let's hear it! Rachel. Ladies and gentlemen, Dave Ross, Luke Burbank, Andrew Walsh, Dory Monson, Ursula Royton, and Jake Storheim. <laughs>